Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Omni's Eat. My hair is a little frizzy already this morning because it rained all night long. Uh, so it is a little bit dimmer than it normally would be first thing in the morning because it's cloudy still. However, looking out the window, it's looking pretty good. It's looking like uh, we're going to get sun in a little bit. So I have a lamp on over here. I have the overhead light on, but the lighting's probably a little weird because my computer is giving me a blue tint this morning. Anyhow... We're gonna do what I ate in a day today, and I'm Jessica. I don't know if I said that or not. Welcome to the, the uh, channel. And like I said, I'm gonna film what I ate in a day. It is currently 7:30 in the morning, 7:37 to be specific. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm having for breakfast. Uh, I'm about to log on to my work computer because I am in a four-week-long class. We are in week three, and I am doing pretty well. In case you're wondering, doing pretty well. Uh, just trying to get through seven more class days uh, was what I told John before I came upstairs. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and show you what I'm having for breakfast. Here we are. So I'm sure this is not a shocker to anybody who's been on my channel before. I'm having two hard boiled eggs this morning and I'm having a Quest bar, but this is the chocolate peanut butter hero bar. Um, I've only had a couple of these. They're all right. The caramel um, ones are my favorite. The chocolate caramel pecan or something like that. There was some nut in there. Um, those are my favorites, to be honest with you, but they do have four net carbs. These have three net carbs. Chocolate peanut butter is typically my favorite of just about anything, so it is kind of uh, different for this to be my favorite. Uh, I'm sorry, the chocolate caramel to be my favorite over the chocolate peanut butter, but it's good. Nonetheless, I have a couple of boxes of this. This is the new packaging. All of my old uh, packaging is officially gone. I finished them all, so this is going to be my breakfast today. When it is time for lunch, I will show you what I'm having for lunch. I already know what I'm having for lunch. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm having for dinner as well. We have a meal plan. We're going to try to stick to it. So I'm going to go ahead and eat my breakfast, get logged on to my class, and I will see you all at lunchtime. All right, you guys, it is time for lunch, and I'm going to be doing something quick and easy because that's how I live my life, quick and easy. Try to get everything done as quickly as possible and as easy as possible. Not really. I make things more difficult for myself than I need to. Anyway, let's go ahead and show you what we're having for lunch today. So not everybody in the house, but I am going to be having this right here. I have some of the zero carb bread from Aldi. This is the wheat version. Um, the I, I usually buy a couple of these loaves at a time and then freeze them just because I don't like to go to the grocery store that often. So anyway, if you see a date on here of August 2nd, that's actually a couple of days ago, a few days ago, a week ago, something like that. Um, but I do have a tendency to buy a couple of loaves at a time and then I'll freeze whatever, like I'll have one out on the counter and then freeze the other one. So this is previously frozen bread. Works just fine for me. Anyway, I'm going to have two slices of that. I have some sliced turkey here and some sliced provolone. I'm going to be putting the rest of this on my sandwich. So I'm going to have a sandwich. I'm also going to be putting a little bit of this Duke's mayonnaise on there as well. I'm going to be doing mayo, uh, turkey, and cheese on my sandwich. I have some of this romaine salad right here. So I'm going to be using some of this. Uh, to the salad. I'm going to add some of this feta cheese. It's almost gone. I got to get this done before it goes bad. And I'm not only going to be using one serving of that, but I'm going to be using this uh, Olive Garden Signature Italian dressing on my salad. So I'm out of tomatoes. My tomato plant died. Uh, oh, and I'm going to be drinking the rest of this Pepsi. I drank some of it earlier today. But I have a Roma tomato plant outside that produced maybe about a dozen tomatoes, and now it's kind of dead. There's like two wee little baby tomatoes, but they're dead, so that plant's not doing so well. And I also planted a another tomato plant. Um, I forget. It's the beef steak. Beef steak tomatoes. Planted a beef steak tomato plant, and uh, that one has a produced any tomatoes yet and it's August 6th today when I'm filming this so um yeah I don't have any tomatoes but I'm gonna have a salad and a sandwich and I will show you what it looks like when it's ready to be eaten all right my lunch is ready to eat so here it is my mixed salad with my serving of feta and serving of olive garden dressing and then here is my sandwich just two pieces of bread it is about two-thirds of a serving of the mayonnaise and then um, some cheese and turkey that I did weigh out so I know how much is on there but I can't remember off the top of my head it's in my phone already um, anyway this is gonna be my lunch today I'm gonna have it it's gonna be very very tasty there's my Pepsi right there with my big glass of ice but I also have my water upstairs um, at my desk as well 
So I'm gonna have my uh, sandwich, my salad, my soda, and uh, also be drinking water for the rest of the afternoon. So that's where we're at at lunchtime. Um, dinner, uh, I already know what's on the menu, but we'll see what kind of variation I end up eating there. Of. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the camera down and go eat my lunch and get back to work and I will see you guys at dinner time. All right, you guys, it is time for dinner and John made me my own dinner, <laughs> but I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we go. Uh, they are actually having pasta, but I am gonna have miracle rice. He fried me up a bag of miracle rice. I'm gonna eat all of this. So this is gonna be my dinner, this bag of miracle rice, and then I'm gonna put some of this sauce on top. It is ground beef with Rayos vodka sauce. So I am gonna weigh that out and just come up with you know a, an estimate of how much is ground beef versus the sauce obviously the ground beef is going to be heavier than the sauce so I'm just gonna come up with an estimate of what that's gonna be but this is gonna be my dinner I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my plate and I will show you what it looks like when it's ready to eat all right you guys so here is my dinner my miracle rice with my vodka sauce and hamburger on top I'm gonna go ahead and eat this for my dinner and then I'm gonna have some dessert because I do still have some calories left so I'm gonna have some dessert in just a minute and not once I'm done eating my dessert or eating my dinner and I'll show you what that is when I get there all right you guys it is time for dessert I got a nickel behind me there he is oh and he just turned my light off hi I think there's enough lighting to show you my dessert all right I'm gonna go ahead, turn the camera around, and show you that I'm having dessert, and if I need to, I'll turn the light back on. All right, I think it's light enough. I've got two of these sugar-free Jellos. This is the raspberry flavor that I'm having tonight. I'm gonna have one of these Slim Fast Keto Fat Bombs. This is the Caramel Nut Clusters. I'm gonna have one of those, these two Jellos, and then I am gonna put a dollop of this sugar-free heavy whipping cream from great value on top of my jellos and that is going to be my dessert tonight so that's everything i'm going to have i'm going to put my macros here beside my head i uh think i'm okay i think i'm probably too high on my protein to be honest with you because i did have that uh turkey and cheese sandwich at lunch and the turkey is really high in protein and almost no fat so there are my macros you sh should have already seen them um calorie wise i think i was good carb wise i think i was good it was just those stinky old protein was too high. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a thumbs up down below is always appreciated. If you have not yet and you would like to, please hit subscribe. Also, if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. We always appreciate your comments. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this full day of eating keto, and I hope to see you on the next OmniZeat. Bye.